Hello from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. My name is Zeta Elliott and I am one of the poets that was meant to be in Texas this week. And I'm sorry we couldn't all be together, but we are staying safe, we're doing the right thing. And Professor Vardell, our moderator, has asked us to read a few of our poems, poems that perhaps we might have shared if we were together. So I am going to read a couple of poems from Say Her Name. And I also want to say that I created a poetry writing workbook for teens. It's called Find Your Voice. And I am more than happy to send a PDF of the workbook to any educator or librarian who's interested. So if that's you, please get in touch with me, info at zettaelliot.com, or you can contact Professor Vardell. I'm gonna give her a copy as well. Um, so, I decided I would read three poems from Say Her Name. Uh, and the first poem I'm gonna read is entitled Self Care. And I'm gonna read <laughs> this poem because these days um, I'm kind of up and down, up and down. I don't know about you. Some days I feel optimistic and some days I don't. And it's actually been that way for the past few years. Um, and I have lived with depression and anxiety since I was a teenager. And fortunately, I've been able to sort of find a balance between the two. And I know the things that I'm supposed to do to help me manage my mental health, but some days it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> so I'm gonna read this poem, self-care. Some days it's okay to eat cupcakes instead of kale, to pull on stretchy pants and a hoodie, curl up on the sofa and watch online videos of baby goats prancing in pajamas. It's okay to curl into your pillow when there's no one else to hold and let your tears soak the foam. Then order a large three topping pizza and finish that pint of coffee toffee bar crunch without anybody's help. Other days, you can go for a long run, hit the gym or walk in the park. Find a body of water, breathe deep lungfuls of fresh air, see a matinee by yourself, put on your cute clothes, take a selfie, have a salad with your slice, doodle in your journal, pet a dog you don't own, see the beauty in small things, see the beauty in yourself, even as you don your armor to make it through another day. I think it's really important as we're dealing with this pandemic that we cut ourselves some slack, especially if you're teaching online and parenting with your kids at home. Um, we're all juggling and adjusting and trying to make it work. Um, but it is spring and I have been enjoying the magnolia trees that are all around my house here in Lancaster. Uh, and I have this poem that I'd like to share. It's called, We Shall Overcome. Don't let the beauty of this world lose its allure. Remember, even roses can climb walls. We have been designed to overcome. And I will close with this poem, which originally I wrote to go inside of Christmas cards when I used to make my own Christmas cards and it's called Blessing. May you have a resilient spirit and a compassionate heart, the desire to heal and the will to forgive. May you never exhaust your capacity for kindness. May you always find peace in your home and in your mind. May your eyes be awake to the beauty all around you. May your ears be tuned to the varied songs of life. May your arms always be ready to embrace those needing comfort and may even the simplest blessings fill your heart with gratitude. Please take good care of yourself in these trying times and remember that you need to feed your imagination in the same way that you give your body healthy things to eat. Uh, so make sure you're consuming lots of art and poetry and writing some of your own poetry maybe. And if you would like a copy of Find Your Voice, a PDF, just let me know. Thanks very much, take care.